Hi, everybody. It's so good to see you. See you. It is day three of Vacation Bible School, and I hope you're enjoying the stories and the craft and the activities and the songs. Um, today's story is um, titled, Jesus Prayed in the Garden. And again, all of our stories come from the Bible, and this story comes from the book of Matthew. Remember Matthew? We met him on day one, okay? He was one of uh, Jesus' disciples. All right, so this story, it has some sad parts, and it has some happy parts. So I'm just telling you that now, all right? Okay, so let's take a look at the photo. And this is Jesus. Now look at Jesus' body language. And look at his face. And these are Jesus' disciples. These two guys are sleeping. And this guy, he looks sleepy. I think he just woke up. The time that this... This story took place late at night. And we are in a garden, and it's called the Garden of Gethsemane. All right, here we go. Jesus prayed in the garden. Jesus knew he had come to earth to be the Savior of the world. He knew that that meant he would have to die. On the last night Jesus spent with his disciples, he took them to a place called Gethsemane. Jesus said to the men, Sit here while I go and pray. Then Jesus asked Peter and two other disciples, James and John, to come up to go a little further with him. Jesus was very sad and he was troubled because he knew he was going to die on the cross to save people from their sins. Jesus asked Peter, James, and John to stay awake with him because he was so distressed. When Jesus had gone a little further into the garden alone, he fell to his knees and he began to pray. He asked God if there was any other way to provide forgiveness other than by dying. Jesus did not want to disobey God the Father, his Father, but he, he also knew that anything's possible with God. Jesus told God that he would do what Ever God wanted him to do. When Jesus returned to Peter, James, and John, he found them sleeping, and he asked Peter, Couldn't you stay awake for just an hour? Couldn't you stay awake and pray? Jesus went alone a second time to pray, and when he came back, the three disciples were asleep again. They were so tired they could not keep their eyes open. Finally, Jesus went alone a third time to pray. And when he returned, he found the men sleeping again. He told them to get up and go with him. Jesus knew it was time to go with the soldiers and follow through with God's plan. Jesus was willing to suffer and die on the cross to save us from our sin. Sometimes we make mistakes. And sometimes we don't realize how important something is until later. Even though the disciples fell asleep at a time when Jesus really needed encouragement and prayer, Jesus loved his disciples and he forgave them for making that mistake. 
And y'all, Jesus forgives me when I make a mistake, whether it's falling asleep in church or, or, doing, or do, cheating on a test in school. If we ask Jesus to forgive us, he always will. Y'all, Jesus loved us so much that he died on the cross for our sins so that we could have forgiveness. That is really good news. Let's take a look at our verse. Some of you are probably reading it with me. I am sure of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Y'all, even though the disciples fell asleep in the garden, Jesus didn't stop working in their hearts and start work, stop working in their lives. No. This verse reminds us that Jesus is always working in our lives and he is making good things happen. He is creating something good. And Jesus is going to keep working on me and you and even Brother John until Jesus comes again. So here is day three in our activity book. And our word of the day is worth. And it says, worth is the value of something. You have worth because Jesus says you do. He proved it by dying on the cross for our sins. And then here's a fun activity. They want you to color the windows blue, red, and yellow according to the design. So that's going to be pretty cool. You probably need to use skinny markers or colored pencils because the squares are pretty small. Well, I hope you have fun, and I wish I could see your uh, end, end project. But um, maybe when Sunday school comes back, I'll be able to see you and see some of your good work in your activities, in your activity book. All right, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.